Okay. Um, we had a presentation this morning with Rails, and you all saw how to make a nice Rails app. Uh, how many people here have actually worked in Rails before, or another MVC architecture? Something along the lines. So you have a model that represents a table in your database, and you create that ta table ahead of time. Uh, right here is a representation of the database that's in my system right now. And just to prove it to you, that is my schema RB file, which normally would have a lot of stuff in it. Have every single table you've made with every single column, everything. And there is a migration, and I'll just, it is blank. I needed it for deploying. Uh, now, inside of Postgres, you can see I have one single table. I'll do a DT again. There is one table in there. Now, I can go on the server right now, request Bob. And guess what? I just responded to Bob. Bob has an ID. Bob now exists in the database. How do you do this? Don't do it in production. <laughs> it's a bad idea. There is no security on this entire thing right now. Uh, Johnny drop tables would have a lot of fun with this database. Um, so you can see here too, we have three controllers, your application controller you need. Arbitrary controller, which will respond. Actually, let me bring up routes. There's routes. I respond currently to three different routes. Uh, they all go to star path, which means it consumes anything at all that you go past your uh, URL. So if you do slash user slash one, you're going to get a model called user slash one. Right now, I'm not actually parsing it out, so you can get the individual items on the IDs. Uh, I was telling some people earlier, I wrote this in about eight hours total. So the code is really bad. I'm sorry. I don't normally code like this. Um, so you can see the top one is a get. You have a post and a put and a destroy, each one going to different routes or different controller actions. If we take a look at the controller, this is the horrible code. Your index, we have a find or create table. Can people actually read that? Oh, of course you're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now, you, we have a method that's find or create table. I'll go down to that. And what you do is I have a model called arbitrary role, row, that I tell it to build. I pass in the table name I want, and I want the data to have. If we go into build, we can see at the top we set an abstract class, which means I have no table. There is nothing associated with this. On my build, I tell it to create a new version of itself, and I give myself some adder readers and writers so that I can actually change values on the rows later on. And let me just go down a little bit. Find or create table. So if the table exists, I want to add data to it or I want to add columns to it. If it doesn't, I need to create it from scratch. And I'm not going to go through all those. There's just a couple of loops in there. Uh, right now, also, all of the fields are strings. That will be changing here in upcoming versions. We also have setting up your configuration. So you can see here my uh, database key is arbitrary underscore whatever your environment is, which was what I was looking at on the PSQL screen. And if, uh, don't need that. Sorry. Now, the nice thing about this is I can start creating objects. If you don't put an ID, it'll create an ID for you. And I'm zoomed way in so you guys can see this. If uh, I want to update number one again, although there's no data on this one, I can update number one. If I want a JSON representation of it, I ask for JSON, it gives me JSON. If I want XML for it, same thing, it gives me back XML. Now, the other neat thing is you can curl request it. So I'm going to, this is horribly screwed. I'm going to do a curl request. Superheroes, I'm putting Dave Kerber in there, my boss. And you can see. <laughs> back to my home directory. I now have a table called superheroes. And in there we have, I can't scroll side to side, the styles on this are not fully. Or I totally destroyed them about 10 minutes ago. The resolution on here, you can't see it on the end, but there is a Kerber. The next thing you can do, if I edit Dave Kerber, so ID 30, let's leave his name in here and let's give him a middle name, Danger. 
He now has a middle name. I updated the one that was in there. If I want a new David Kerber. I have a new one. You can go through and you can do anything you want to right now. The destroy route, I was updating that last night, didn't get it done for today. It's needless system, what would you use this for? It's a lot like if anyone's worked with PHP and MySQL, PHP my admin. I'm seeing some nodded heads. So it kind of works along those lines where you can create anything you request. There is a server out there right now running this, so if you want to play with it, if you have internet, <laughs> railsarbitrarily.io. Uh, those are some ones that people were playing with last night, and you can hit them right now. Dave, I think. Yes, Mother Russia is still in there. <laughs> if anyone saw Kick-Ass 2. Uh, so what would you use this sort of stuff for? We've toyed with the idea of using it in uh, combination with front-end testing where you don't have a server yet. You have a ton of JavaScript. You can just post to it. You can get from it whatever you want. Same thing works with mobile apps. If you don't have the database or the REST server built out yet, you can post and get whatever you want out of this. It's got everything you could ever need. Yeah, my talk was fairly quick, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is what you should not do with Rails. Um, making, yeah. Any questions right now with what's up here? What are you hosting it on? Right now it's on DigitalOcean. So it's a Ubuntu server with PostgreSQL in the background. There used to be a gem called Dr. Nick's Magic Models that did very much the same thing. Uh, he hasn't updated it since about two months after he released it in 2009. So eventually I do want to release this as a gem. We have had some use cases in production where this makes sense. Uh, we were working with what large CSV files that had, they're about what, five to 10 gigs. So putting a ton of those into a single table is a bad idea, giving them each their own and we're doing some post-processing on them too. So this would make it a lot easier and a lot more efficient. And as you notice too, you can prepend your database name with any database you want, so you don't have to use the same one as the rest of your Rails app. Uh, I'm planning on throwing Active Admin on this so you can get a front end. That's a separate database, and then there'll be a whole other database just for the arbitrary, arbitrary table creation. Yep. Anything else? Yes. I was using Cloud 66. Has anyone seen that? It's pretty nice. It's I don't want to log into mine because I have some other stuff in there, but it'll automatically deploy all of your servers for you. I have a hook into GitHub where if I push to my branch production, it'll provision and deploy my apps, set up the databases, everything for me. So it takes about five minutes, and you get a brand new server. Also does load balancers in one click. Uh, you can bring up another server for it. So if you do hit it, if a lot of you start hitting it, it will bring up another server. Please don't. <laughs> Cost money. The Cloud 66? Yeah. Or Cloud 66 is free for development. DigitalOcean was about $5 a month for a fairly good little server. Use it a couple other times too. Yep. They've been complaining that I'm not backing up my database. I don't really see a reason to, <laughs> to be totally honest. Uh, maybe once there's users. Nothing? Anybody want to play with it? You feel free to come up here and try to break it. Because <laughs> I'd like to know where it does break. Um, well, I did just sit on the keyboard for a while, smashing every single key I possibly could. There is a limit to table names. so. Right now, you can curl the server that's out there, set up your own routes, anything you want. The relationships, I'm also getting in there. Started working on that, but I didn't have it ready for today. Anything else? Anybody want to come up and play with it? You can edit, like I said, the tables right on the screen, too, at least the records. It's a schemaless database that still has relationships, which is real relationships, too. So the fact that you can query on it, that's the real benefit over Right. You don't have to use MapReduce to get your data back out, which is one of the big drawbacks of MongoDB. But if you wanted to use Active Record or another ORM, those definitions would already have to be created. Is that right? 
Uh, I am extending from Active Record Base right now, and I have dynamically created relationships. Uh, again, I don't have the code right here to display because it wasn't done yet. But I think something you could do is actually regenerate your schema.rb based on the existing database. Mm -hmm. um, so you could use this to, like, if you sort of back in a mobile app and you don't know what you need yet, right? You just sling data back and forth, figure out what you want, and then run a rate task that dumps out the schema RB. And then you got, like, your reels with real Rails app. And you start building your models on top of it. I like using it for testing because I don't have to care about bringing up an actual server with all the models and everything. I just pump data at it and it gives it to, back to me. So. Yep. Do you have any plans to add arbitrary attachments? I know you asked for it. <laughs> I'll put it in ticket for it. Okay. Do you want to show them where this is on GitHub? Uh, it's not public yet on GitHub. Uh, I'm going to clean up the code first. You know, there are portions <coughs> where I repeated the same lines. But yes, Rails arbitrarily.io. I'll leave it up for quite a while, and you can just play with it. And once the users are on there, you'll have things scoped to your user. So you can have your own space that other people can't access. And some sort of security. I don't recommend using this as a production at all. Else? No? Please, though, do come up and try it. Anybody? No?